Yeah, the, uh, the change in format is going to make things interesting for us. Um, I was always a fan of the qualifier because qualifying was always an easier day for me. And uh, it's, it's, the qualifier was always one of the most high pressure, intense things because you take the 16 best in the world and turn it into eight, the eight best in the world. Um, so now instead of having that challenge, the challenge was qualifying at all. So as everybody, everybody who's here is already going to finals. Um, I think we're going to see a little bit more uh, people going for it a little bit more because you know the, the job is done. It's just it, it's straight to finals. So um, it'll definitely be interesting to see how it plays out. It's going to be different. It's going to be unique to any X Games we've had in the past. Oh, it's awesome having Craig here in Aspen. Um, he's never been here to compete, but it's really he's always been here to have a good time. But now he's working a bit, so it's, we don't get to hang as much, but it's really cool for him and for the industry to have somebody that's so relevant calling the shots. And he's super, he's a really good color commentator, so it's awesome. And then also to be able to ride the course with him all day today. He's probably the only commentator that's hitting this other stuff, but it's, it's pretty cool. My yeah, um, for slope style and big air side, it's been really cool to be a part of the progression. And with the triple corks coming, there's been so many variations that people thought would never be possible, and people are doing them in slope style runs, linking them back to back, you know? It's um, ever so progressing, and it's really fun to be a part of. And definitely, the judges are honing in on like, special grabs, and not necessarily just on the next rotation, but like proper pop, and being smooth, and clean linings and stuff. So um, I think the judging this year has been pretty solid. Shovel racing, shovel racing, it's so heartbroken. <laughs> shovel racing was out of X Games. And, uh, uh, rock climbing, ice climbing, would love to see the ice climbing back. Um, Tim, you know, ice climbing would be sweet to have back then. Gonna push for that. Uh, the downhill mountain bike, ice biking, that. <laughs> it seemed it was just a little safe for everybody, is the only thing. Like, everyone's kind of watching it, like, oh, it's mellow. Um, shovel racing. I miss uh, Ultra Cross. Uh, it wasn't actually a female event, but on tour we start doing the team races and we're <coughs> pushing that to become an Olympic sport. And Faye and I have done really well as a team in uh, past races. And if that's coming into an Olympic sport, we could potentially do really well. Here it was a skier and a snowboarder, so it could. It could be really cool to have something like that, whether it's a guy-girl snowboarder or skier and snowboarder. Um, that was definitely a, a cool team aspect because it just kind of changed the dynamic at the top of the course. It's kind of just like, oh, I don't want to look at you, or I want to beat you. It's like, hey, let's work together on this. Like, let's figure out a way to tackle and win. Collaboration. I don't really ski it very often except for just at the contest during the training sessions. And it, I, for me, it kind of just translates from my slope style rounds. It's sort of the same tricks. It's just getting used to riding the transitions and doing them in the half pipe. But once you've gotten a feel for it, the tricks are kind of the same in both. So I don't know. It basically just ski slow. <laughs> Uh, well, 
if one girl can believe in all these ladies up here hitting that big jump, definitely me. We're on the same course as the guys, so you guys are on the same slope as the guys, uh, course as the guys. So I know for a fact that you ladies can definitely hit that big air jump and start ramping up your progression. Um, and how I'm trying to progress my sport is, you know, hopefully develop my own uh, race where whether I'm not still competing or not and racing and partaking in it, but I am still trying to uh, kind of ramp up the whole development side because we do have this little lingering gap between that young USASA generation to the World Cup generation and trying to make a safe transition so that girls that are coming off of that aren't coming into huge jumps and features. So uh, that's definitely what I am starting to work on this summer and talk to the right channels and sponsors to work into something like that. But back to the bigger. Uh, yeah, I really agree with what Celia is saying with the, the girls uh, hitting the big air because I think that will, would really help our progression as well. And yeah, I know we're progressing slower than the guys, but still I think that would help a lot. And I'm super excited that we're finally allowed to ski big air in Oslo, which is going to be insane. And also Boston as well. Uh, it's a huge opportunity for us to, to finally hit the big air. And yeah, I, I think that would help a lot.